Hello, and welcome back to another solar panel video. Some things have changed, you may have noticed. I'm not in my living room anymore. In fact, that's not even my living room anymore. I apologize to my viewers, um, people who actually still stuck around and are still my subscribers. Hopefully you guys don't unsubscribe from my channel when this video comes out, because you suddenly realize that you were still subscribed to it. Um, the house I was at before, um, I would, let me... Let me go back to the beginning here. Uh, the reason I have not done a solar panel video 8 is because I life happened. Uh, it was pretty unavoidable. Um, I was kind of in the process of getting evicted from that house. It was actually my parents' house. Um, she moved out to another house and decided to let that one go, but I supposedly had six months before I needed to move out and find something. Um, Funds were getting pretty short because I was unemployed at the time. Um, I had been laid off from working at the airport. And I just kind of made these videos and made these panels in my spare time because it was something that interested me. Uh, I like doing things for myself. I'm a big DIYer. Uh, if you saw the rest of my yard and my gardens now, uh, you'd understand that. But it's been a few years. Um, I moved out of that house. I was supposed to move out to... Uh, the other city, the other house where my mom was at, I helped her renovate it. However, as soon as the renovations were done, um, her boyfriend who owned the house dumped her. And we were in a big rush to find another house for her. Luckily, uh, I had found a job before I was kicked out of that house, and I had an opportunity to get an apartment. And that's actually the same job I've been holding on to for the last five years. Um, they're real good to me there. Pays okay. 50 hours a week is a little much but it pays the bills. Since then, um, I have moved from that apartment where I had a roommate. I got a girlfriend. She moved in with me. We got engaged, got married, moved here, and had a baby. Adorable little guy. But um, Recently, I've started to get a bit more artistic, um, laid off the video games, and I got some interest in putting these videos together again, because comments still pop up every once in a while, going, where's part eight? What happened? What's going on? Well, there's another reason I didn't make a part eight, and it had to do with the fact that I had finished putting these panels together, and I had actually filmed part eight. And part of filming part 8 was I did a weather demo. I put these outside in the elements for a couple days. Um, and then I realized that maybe the process I was using wasn't the best for building solar panels. Um, I've since come up with a new design. Well, let me show you a problem with the old design. It's that these corners did not seal very well. In fact, there's really almost nothing that holds this on. Um, you can see the silicone pulling away there. There's really not much holding that on. So the lamination did help protect the panels a little bit. But if I flip this over and you actually look at the bottom here, uh, let's see if I can do this without too much glare. You see that big blemish there? This is the panel that fared better. Water got into this panel and leached out part of the metals that were in these cells. And I tried to work on the other panel and decide, okay, well, there's only four or five bad cells. I can desolder those, put in some new ones, and work on this with this new process. However, the lamination makes it absolutely impossible to work on these panels. Yeah, sure, I can pull out the big f film of... Uh, of cells out in one piece, and uh, but it was impossible to get that laminate off without completely destroying every single cell. I wound up cutting them off, and I'm hopeful that in the pro in the future sometime I can find a way to maybe melt away that film, um, just because I don't want to lose the cells. But um, you know, if I never find a way, I never find a way. Then they're just toast. Um, I did have enough cells to make a third panel that I never did, and I was able to make this with it. This stood up to the elements for a solid month before I had to bring it in. 
and this is my new process. I completely plan on making a new solar panel series and I've come up with a new way to do these edges which makes them almost air, uh, airtight. Um, I also went with a larger junction box because working inside those small ones um, trying to hook up terminal connectors was just impossible. Um, I even found better cable uh, connections to make these watertight. And actually, these are airtight. This is watertight. This is just an outdoor uh, junction box. But uh, I do plan on doing another solar panel series. But I want to leave the other videos up because I want people to be able to see them and expand upon them. Maybe they will inspire somebody. They can uh, use my designs and build on them. Uh, I also leave them up as a learning experience. If you can't learn from your mistakes or learn from my mistakes, then you know that's that's that is progress. Um, sometimes you have to make mistakes to learn. So I intend on making new panels. Um, not a hundred percent in the future, but I'd also like to change the way that I do this video series. I came across a um, hydroponics, which I got very interested in for a while, but a hydroponics website through a TED Talk. Um, I think TED Talks are awesome. If you ever have a chance to watch one live, it's amazing. But uh, just to check them out on the internet is great. But um, it was the entire website for building these um, in-window um, little hydroponic setups. I mean, they're meant for small apartments, but every part of the design was all crowdsourced. And their website furnishes uh, the ability to, like, it's a, it's a forum setup. You can go and throw in your own ideas. Um, much like Reddit has become, however, um, with, and the difference between this and Reddit is this is very focused on one idea. Uh, whereas you, I mean, you'd have to make your own subreddit just to focus on this. But um, I actually want to crowdsource for ideas for these panels. Um, I think I came up with some pretty cool ideas on this, but if other people have ideas, that'd be great too. Um, one of the things I switched is now I go with a white background. These are all acrylic or uh, plexiglass rather than using glass. Um, the glass was just too heavy and too fragile, so I used plexiglass all around. Uh, you can hear something rattling around in that junction box. I haven't opened it up in a while. Actually, I actually haven't even picked these up in a while. But uh, I'm, all, I'm looking for ideas on how I can better build this. And I think having different versions will be great. Um, and, I mean, there's just some things I don't know, especially when it comes to wiring. I was learning as I went. And if people can give insight on how to wire up a grid tie inverter or where to get refurbished cheap batteries uh, for an off-grid setup, that would be great. So uh, I'm going to hit the video here. Uh, if you guys want to subscribe, helps me out. I've only recently monetized this channel, um, so I haven't made a dime off this yet. Um, so subscribe if you want, unsubscribe, hey, we'll miss you, uh, but I understand. It's been so long since I made videos, you may have moved on to other things since then. Uh, I also plan on taking the paintball videos off this channel because those were meant to be posted for personal use. Um, I'll have a personal channel. If you're here for paintball, I'll link it. Um, take care, guys.